there are not enough surgeons in Malawi and uh, to train the right number of surgeons would take us a long, long time. So we thought it made sense to try and upskill um, the, this cadre of clinical officers. It saves uh, transport, but it also serves, uh, saves money for the, for the system as a whole. The hospital became used to doing more surgery, the nurses were trained, the anesthesiologists were you know, empowered, and you really tried to improve the, the quality of surgery in the district by the training. And so we, we proposed the, the idea of doing most of the training by mentorship within the district hospitals. And it turned out well because that's where there's going, they're going, hopefully they were going to work anyway. So if they trained in the environment that they were going to work, uh, the result we felt would have been more ideal that way. The implementation was visits to the each training hospital every two weeks of a team from the central hospital with didactic materials, with provision of reading materials and you know, adherence to a, to a you know, well-developed curriculum. Previously, I could do thing without, you know, a scientific backup, without a scientific understanding, because I've seen somebody doing it. So the basic science is, uh, part is very important, and that's the first six months. And then after that, the, the mentorship part in the, in the district hospitals involved a variety of modules. Our level of profession has changed because we at that time, before the Costa Africa, it was up to diploma level. So there was no any kind of uh, career progression at that particular time. The most challenging thing is when you see a patient suffering, and then maybe you're not very skilled to do that procedure. You take a patient to theatre and then you see the patient dying. I think that's the most challenging thing that you're saying. When the Costa Africa came, it was like a bridge. It improved the quality. Uh, surgical care of patients and also in, it, it improved the referral system. In many cases there's no need even to go to a central hospital in the first place if you have a proper referral set, uh, system and in Europe that's usual practice. Those referral patterns are being strengthened here but unfortunately not everybody is convinced that at the district level uh, people are able to perform surgery. It turned out that hernia surgery performed by clinical officers at district level, at least in Malawi, is as good as surgery uh, hernia surgery performed at central hospital level. If it's a choice between no surgery being available to people in rural populations or having somebody who's gone through a good training program and who is supervised, I believe it is an ethical, uh, in fact it's a duty to provide that, that service. There will be no surgeons in the, no specialist surgeons in the rural areas so uh, the alternative is to train people who can provide the surgical service but safely. And this uh, literature shows that if you train clinic officers, they will stay in the rural areas and they will provide the surgical service.